Hi, these comments are for Alec. How are you today? I am Michael from OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com. And thank you for sending your writing practice test. I think that you're doing a independent writing practice uh, test number seven. And I got good news for you. You are really coming along with this writing. You have some just small minor language use issues. However, your organization and development is absolutely stellar. So keep up the great work that you're doing. This is the last time you will take the TOEFL exam. We're going to get you. I feel confident. I think you can get close to 30. This is why I know that I'm, I don't need to do this, but I want to do an error correction video with you. I know you didn't pay for it. You already got it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I, th <coughs> I think you're pretty close to five. So you effectively address a topic and task. Your essay is well organized, well developed. You use clearly appropriate examples, explanations, and or details, and you have unity, progression, and coherence, and you have pretty good control over your grammar and sentence structure. And that's what I want to look at right now, right? So let's see. So I'm going to say 28. <laughs> You said, undoubtedly, both the science and the art are the important pillars of society, and without them, society will not be able to prosper. However, contributions of scientists, we want to put the plural S here, are somewhat more obvious, and nowadays many people believe that scientific work is more significant. Personally, I also believe that the scientific work is immensely important since it helps us to improve the quality of our everyday lives I'm going to make this plural and health. Now, my only suggestion here is maybe develop the introduction a little bit more because you are at 67 words. How about this? What if you said this? So we'd not be able to prosper then. Where would, where would we be right now, for example, has scientists not invented vaccines to fight the coronavirus? Or with artists at YouTube, people are all over the world people all over the world can be entertained and educated. So I wanted to, to just throw this in because, <coughs> excuse me, it develops this idea about science and art. So I, I talk about science by talking about inventing the coronavirus vaccine. I talk about artists at YouTube that create entertainment and educational uh, videos for people. Okay, so let's go to the next paragraph. First of all, fine art, usually we just use this as a collective noun kind of. Fine art such as painting, sculpturing, I guess you can make it plural, uh, architecture, literacy, and music. No, you can't put the comma here because once you put the comma here, you separate uh, the subject from the verb. So if you put a comma after music, you have to put one after fine arts, which I don't think you really need. So have significant effects on society, and the comma with even though is not needed. Usually, if you put even though at the beginning of the sentence, you know, even though blah, 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 comma, fine arts such as, I would, when the introductory clause is in the beginning of the sentence, it is pretty common to separate it with a comma. Uh, you have, for instance, fine art objects don't have any use, but are rather the result. Again, you don't need a comma here because you don't have an independent clause here. You have fine art don't have an R. So you have two verbs pointing back to the same subject and are rather the result of human. I'm going to put human's basic need for creation and self-expression. Even from the old days, people have used, and this is a problem with passive voice, but you don't need passive voice here. You're saying people have used art to express their beliefs, and you want to change this to uh, their beliefs, imagination, emotions, and thoughts. Therefore, art can influence society by affecting opinions and beliefs. We need to make this a noun again. 
There's no comma needed here. Again, you're not, usually when you put a comma before coordinated conjunction, uh, you will be connecting independent clauses together. And that's not what you're doing there. Uh, so you have by affecting opinions and beliefs and by preserving collective memory. Importantly, since art has a universal language, it can transfer, I'm going to put messages, plural, it can transfer messages among people from different countries, cultures, and time. Accordingly, art can motivate people to change their opinions, make this plural, and even stimulate social and political changes. In addition, functional art objects beside their beauty also have a purpose and can be used in everyday life. Hence, art can also have utilitarian and economic value for society through all of these different functions art significantly contributes to our society this is beautiful this is a beautiful sentence really because of these three words these different functions what functions what you've already talked about that's a great way to tie everything together there you're using the determiner and then you're using a synonym to tie back to what you've already said that makes that paragraph unified wow beautiful very good you have next impacts of science and society are even more apparent Okay, let's combine these two sentences so you have a longer sentence there. We'll say, in that numerous scientific conventions through the history, I'm going to say throughout history, so you have numerous inventions, no, it's half. Inventions is a subject to that verb. So numerous inventions have been making people's lives easier and better. I'm going to say the inventions have made. They make. So I don't think they are inventions. I'm going to actually use the, uh, I'm not going to use passive voice here. have made people's lives easier and better. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a world without electricity or cars? How about this? Let's give you the S. Unquestionably, no, you need to use this as an adverb. Unquestionably, our lives would be much more complicated and less pleasant if we didn't. This is your running into trouble. I may have to lower the score here. I'm going to be honest with you. So if we didn't have didn't have them. Moreover, all different appliances such as stoves, refrigerators, TVs, dishwashers that we use every day wouldn't exist without the hard work of scientists. Similarly, the invention of computers and the internet I'm going to put the inventions of computers and the internet have tremendously changed. You got it right this time. You didn't use passive voice here. The way people work, learn, communicate, or collect information. Moreover, without the contribution of chemists and biologists, What's the inventions of our lives would be much more complicated. See how you're speaking, writing hypothetically without the invention of chemists and biologists. I'm going to change this to would. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was thinking 28 initially, but I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop this down.
And I'm going to drop it down to 25. There's, I didn't realize, once I start reading closely, I realize you're not having total control over your language use, but there's nothing that really interferes in your meaning, but there would be no medications and vaccines that we, I'm going to put in here could, that we could use to alleviate and treat numerous diseases. Hence, the benefits from science are numerous and pretty obvious, which could be the reason why science is highly valued. In my opinion, people recognize the contribution of art, but think that science has a bigger influence on society. This could be due to more obvious and measurable effects of science on humanity. Moreover, modern people are mainly materialistic and primarily focused on the wealth and their own well-being. This is where you can focus a little bit more, right? Why is that? Because in the beginning, you talked about it, it, uh, science helps improve the quality of our everyday lives and health. So you have to kind of, you have to bring up, you have to develop those ideas more. And maybe instead of saying improving our lives and our health, maybe you just focus on one of those reasons and then develop it in that final paragraph. And that's probably good enough. You have, since science has been making our lives more comfortable and easier, You know what? I think has been making or has made. You can probably use both, but I think the, the passive isn't really needed here. Since science has made our lives more comfortable and easier, it is held in high esteem at the present. In addition, people find science to be very important in society because it has produced many medical treatments used to treat different diseases and prolong our lives. The problem with this paragraph, your this this is an important paragraph. This is kind of like your conclusion. I don't even think that you need this. But you need to take a topic within this paragraph and then develop it. You need to develop it over 80 or 90 words. And I don't think you really did that. So your this final paragraph, your argumentative paragraph, lacks the depth and the complexity of thought that you've shown in the other two body paragraphs. So I think you could definitely develop this idea a little bit more. Okay, so we started out at at maybe close to five, but then the more I read, the more problems I found. So let's go back in the four area here. So it says, addresses a topic, well, yes, generally well organized and develop exactly. Uh, it displays unity progression, very good unity on this, except maybe that last body paragraph. You needed more progression, I think, in that one. Uh, you have the last thing displays facility in the use of language Though it will probably have occasional noticeable minor errors in structure word form and use of idiomatic language that do not interfere with meaning Okay, so what? What can you do at this point based on my analysis of that? I think that you can't you're not a hundred percent controlling uh, passive voice yet. You're using passive when it's not needed, so you have to be careful about that. The good thing is, is you have definitely figured out the present perfect tense. I know you struggle with this, but I really feel you understand it. You know how to use it, but you're not quite sure whether or not you need the active or passive voice in the present tense, the present perfect tense, right? Maybe that that's, I meant to say present perfect tense. Okay, your plural nouns, you have not mastered plural nouns. Now, what does that mean? Probably in your own language, you might not even use plural nouns. I'm guessing, I could be wrong, but you know, one book, two books, maybe in your language, you might say one book, two book, three book. Uh, a lot of languages do that, but whether or not it's, it, it, it happens in your language, uh, you need to pay more attention to your singular versus your plural nouns. I think that's important. And then the other area of concern was just that final paragraph I talked to you about. I would rather you take one idea when you make your own argument. You might want to say, well, science is better because it, it helps advance uh, health uh, benefits for society or something. Then you just talk about how science contributes to our health and that's it. And keep that whole paragraph focused around that one idea. That's going to give you a little bit more depth and complexity of thought. All right. 
So you're close. You're getting there. I still believe that you can get 29 to 30, even though you didn't score that on this. You are a very deep thinker. You have great vocabulary. You have pretty good sentence structure. Uh, so just keep, keep hanging in there. Keep doing a little more writing practice. And I think you will be able to beat. You'll get your, your subtotal score that you need when you take the TOEFL exam.